Thank you very much. Uh, I thank uh, Klaus Tolfer for the invitation to be here. I'm very glad uh, to, to participate in, in this event. Uh, I will give a, a brief introduction to uh, Soil Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, the drivers of degradation, impacts of the, the soil degradation, the linkage between soil ecosystem service and sustainable development, and some uh, uh, initial ideas on the way forward. Soil Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, of course, we're talking about many uh, uh, processes uh, related to nutrient uh, regulation, water regulation, carbon, regulation, soil regulation, uh, uh, pest and disease regulation, pollination. So a number of organisms depend on soils to uh, 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 maintain these uh, services. And of course, the soil formation itself. The drivers of degradation, uh, 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 excessive use of uh, uh, chemicals, uh, uh, we have problems with the excess use of uh, nitrogen, for example. Uh, excessive uh, disturbance of soil, for example, the uh, tillage, uh, uh, the removal uh, uh, or poor ma management of soils, uh, which reduce water uh, infiltration, for example, and uh, exposing bare soils. Uh, the impacts, of course, uh, uh, are several, uh, leading to loss of soil quality and, and the quantity of soil available, losses of uh, crop productivity, uh, uh, increase off-farm impacts as well in terms of pollution eventually to the freshwater systems, to the marine systems, increased water insecurity, uh, loss of carbon, sedimentation that also has a number of uh, off-farm off impacts. Uh, the linkage of uh, uh, soil uh, uh, and ecosystem services uh, with the three Rio conventions. So the UNCCD uh, aims to halt in reversing uh, land degradation and restoring soil biodiversity health is a fundamental response. The UNFCCC uh, uh, aims at climate change mitigation by reducing further greenhouse gas losses from soils and uh, restoring carbons, uh, carbon in soils and also uh, promoting uh, adaptation to climate change through restoration of water regulation uh, and strengthening uh, resilience of farming systems to climate change. The CBD deals with soil biodiversity, conservation, sustainable use and restoration. Soil biodiversity and the CBD. Uh, the CBD started to discuss uh, the issue of soil, uh, which led in 96 at COP3 to an adoption of a work program on agriculture biodiversity, including uh, soil biodiversity as one of the key components. And in 2004 at COP7, this led to a special attention to the role of soil biodiversity and having FAO as a key partner together with others, uh, uh, which I will summarize uh, in the next slide. And at COP8 in 2006 in Curitiba, Brazil, we adopted the International Initiatives for Soil Conservation and Sustainable Use of Soil Biodiversity. And there are a number of partners working with this and key were European organizations and countries and, and even countries uh, in, and institutions in Brazil and several other countries. So I think there's a, lot, a, a large uh, stakeholder group out there that can help us in this uh, uh, aim uh, to forward our objectives here. So the International Initiative for Soil Conservation, uh, for Conservation and Sustainable Use of Soil Biodiversity it's uh, mostly uh, coordinated by FAO with other partners. It aims at uh, uh, awareness raising, knowledge and understanding, pro promotion of this, and mainstreaming of this issue uh, in the broader policies. Uh, uh, the, the main principles are uh, involvement of uh, farmers, uh, livelihoods and recognition of their wisdoms and skills, integrated, adaptive, holistic and flexible uh, solution, local solutions, participatory technology development suitable to local conditions, building partnerships and alliances, promoting cross-sectoral and integrated approach, and dissemination and exchange of information and data. And this has led to a number of uh, uh, influence in other forests, such as the Commission on, on Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture. The 
In 2010, at COP10 in Nagoya, the CBD adopted its current strategic plan for the decade of 2011-2020, uh, uh, where uh, 20 global biodiversity uh, targets, the so-called Aichi targets, were uh, uh, adopted. And uh, soil health and biodiversity is uh, a cross-cutting uh, issue among these targets and has particular relevance to s several of them, such as target se seven, to promote sustainable production systems, uh, including agriculture. Target eight, to reduce pollution, including uh, excess use of, of nitrogen. Uh, target 14, to promote the restoration and the safeguarding of uh, ecosystem services. And target 15, uh, to enhance ecosystem resilience and health, including uh, by carbon storage, and uh, with a subset, uh, a sub-target to restore 15% of degraded ecosystems. Uh, soil health, biodiversity, uh, uh, and biodiversity uh, also received a lot of attention at the Rio Plus 20 conference, and I'm not going to read all that, but uh, there are a number of uh, uh, key uh, issues that were uh, uh, highlighted in the uh, final outcomes of the Rio Plus 20, which I think we should all make the best use of these recognitions by heads of states. Uh, the way forward. Um, Soil biodiversity considerations are well placed to address multiple issues of land conservation, uh, sustainable agriculture, poverty reduction, water security, climate change, and sustainable development. As, as other mentioned, these issues are all interconnected. Uh, so there are a number of opportunities for win-win uh, uh, um, initiatives. We uh, know that reducing the drivers of degradation can reverse losses by restoring ecosystem services. Uh, uh, for example, conservation agriculture uh, promotes uh, multifunctional uh, uh, benefits and, uh, and deliver uh, many benefits both on farm and off farm. Soil health addresses the social, economic, and environmental pillars of sustainable development. And the pre uh, 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 present soil health uh, should be seen as a solution to multiple problems. So uh, I will be uh, exploring some more alternatives for uh, uh, global uh, uh, policies for soil conservation tomorrow in, uh, in our uh, policy workshop. But uh, just to leave with you some ideas. Uh, so initially, some an uh, analysis lead to conclude that soil health and biodiversity and ecosystem services are already well ref reflected in the existing multilateral environment agreements. So, in principle, we have recognition of issues related to soil conservation in the major uh, uh, global environmental agreements, especially the, the three real conventions. Uh, but, of course, the, the, the issues are dealt using uh, different languages, and uh, the major uh, uh, problem is lack of sufficient implementation. Uh, in my mantra, since I uh, uh, started uh, this new job as the head of the CBD, is implementation, implementation, and implementation. And uh, so how can we enhance implementation? What are the constraints? How to support implementation? Uh, one of the issues we, we have to consider here is to what extent having uh, further global policy frameworks can help or, 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 or hinder uh, this process. Uh, uh, is setting targets for soil uh, conservation and restoration a good way to boost implementation on the ground? Uh, emphasis on implementation of actions at national level, that's where things need to happen. So the challenge is uh, how to best uh, 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 reach out to the farmers and, and to uh, uh, other key stakeholders. So uh, farmers as key custodians of soils, uh, uh, we must involve uh, them in policy development and management. The key is, is to promote behavioral change towards uh, sustainability. And uh, we need to address issues of incentives and disincentives that impact uh, uh, the activities of farmers. So thank you very much.